Please take your seats. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lance Gropel, principal at Colleyville Heritage High School. It is my honor to welcome you to the graduation, graduation ceremony for the class of 2018. Our purpose tonight is to honor and recognize each member of this fantastic graduating class. This class is filled with exceptional leaders and has set the standard for achievement at Colleyville Heritage. They have set countless school records and will go down in Colleyville Heritage history as one of the best classes in history. At the beginning of the school year, I sat down with this class and spoke to them about how I believe the potential in this class was to rewrite the record books in Colleyville Heritage and rewrite the record books this class has. They have done everything asked of them and done it with Panther pride. This senior class has been awarded over $15 million in scholarships and recognitions. with over 200 students being recognized with those scholarships. These seniors have served our community with over 17,000 community service hours during their time at Colleyville Heritage. Uh, and we would like to thank our staff and graduates because without them, these students would not be here today. So please join me in recognizing the staff and students for these accomplishments. At this time, I would also like to recognize the underclassmen that helped make this ceremony possible. Please help me in recognizing the Red Jackets and our Panther Band. As stated earlier, I believe the best faculty in the state of Texas serves our students at Colleyville Heritage. Uh, and as always, Panther Pride is alive and well. At this time, I would like to invite student body president Adam Haddad to lead us in the invocation. Please stand for the invocation and remain standing for the national anthem. Dear Lord, all praise is to you, God, the most gracious and most merciful. We thank you for gathering us all safely here today to celebrate our long anticipated graduation. And we thank you for the guidance of all the devoted teachers, coaches, administrators, and family members who have selflessly shaped our success. As we leave today, we ask for your guidance in our future endeavors. We thank you and praise you, God, for all our innumerable blessings. Amen. Please remain standing as we honor America. Ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of our colors.
Uh, you may now be seated. All right. All right. Good evening. So, for your guys' sake, I am going to refrain from talking about cars for the duration of this speech. Now, with that sorted, I would like to start by commending you all on the numerous achievements you carry with you today. No matter how great of an accomplishment you consider your survival of high school to be, you have a lot to be proud of. Today, with the class of 2018, I am joined by some of the smartest, kindest, most devoted, and most thoughtful people I have ever met. And for what it's worth, some really, really good friends. Whether we like it or not, the last four years have made up what has very likely been the most formative period of our lives. I mean, when we were plunged into the water on the first day of school, and we found out about the summer projects we had to do, just how confusing the lettering of the hallways was, and how inaccurately High School Musical had portrayed it all. I mean, Zac Efron is 30 now, guys, just saying. Anyways, freshman year was a scramble. But like my Rubik's Cube, we didn't stay scrambled for long. We learned to adapt, we made friends, and we found the path that ultimately led us here today. We might not know exactly what is to come, but we're prepared. We're ready to put the period at the end of high school, and we're ready for the next chapter. These last four years have challenged us in a number of ways. They brought out our best. However, it is up to you, class of 2018, when you leave this room, diploma in hand, and the training wheels are off to decide whether or not that that best is good enough for you. Class 2018, as you enter the free world, I charge you to seek out your greatest strengths and passions in all the variety and give them everything. The world won't know what hit it. Having the opportunity to serve as your student body president, to grow and spend time with you, has truly been an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege. I trust that your many talents serve you ever well and that your future holds great potential. So with that, until we meet again, stay classy, Colleyville class of 2018. At this time, it is my great honor and privilege to recognize the men and women who have made the choice to serve in our armed forces. Two former Colleyville Heritage graduates were killed in action serving our country. These two students were Christian Schultz of the class of 2003 and Stephen Tucker of the class of 2004. Years ago, these two young men were wearing the same red robes as they sat with their graduating class. This is one of the most treasured traditions at Colleyville Heritage, not only to honor Stephen and Christian, but thousands before and since who have served our country so well. Today, the Panther Band, under the direction of Mr. Nick Thomas, will play a song entitled, The Armed Forces Salute. Red Jackets will present flags from the United States Army, Marine Corps, Air Force, Navy, and the Coast Guard. As the song for that particular branch of service is played and the flag from that branch of service is presented, if you or a loved one served in that particular branch, I would ask that you stand so that we can recognize you. Before the band begins this salute, I would like to recognize our seniors who have already committed to serve our country in the armed forces. Seniors, when I announce your name, please stand and remain standing until we have called all students. I would ask that you hold your applause until we recognize all students. Our first student, Michael Chamnus, Marine Corps. Antonio Flores, Navy. Daniel Garcia, Air Force. Yvonne Garcia, Marines. Jacob Garcia, Army. Brandon Morgan, Coast Guard. Maven New, United States Marines. Keith Widener, United States Coast Guard. And attending, enrolling in the service academies, we have Joseph Campbell, Air Force Academy. Mandy Ringo, Merchant Marine Academy. And Zach Shelley, Air, United States Air Force Academy. Please join me and give these students a round of applause.
Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Collieville Heritage Band will perform the Armed Forces.
12 years, nine months, a few hours, and some seconds ago, our tiny backs carried our Disney and Nickelodeon themed school bags, which, may I add, was my favorite item to buy while school shopping. As we mindlessly walked into our first day of kindergarten, not even thinking about lunch, much less about the last day of high school. Despite the fact that our now confident backs carry graduation gowns, our stomachs are still filled with the same excitement and drive from 13 years ago. Some things just haven't changed, like how our parents still help us clean our rooms or how our, par or, or how our siblings still beg us to shower after playing outside for hours. I hope I'm not the only one. We went from trading silly bands and riding bikes back in the day to trading secrets and riding cars as wannabe adults. You can infer that other students are more persistent in their thirst for adulthood, whereas I simply suppressed my mother's home-cooked meals and fresh laundry. Good afternoon. My name is Anara Tharani, and as a senior class council president, I am honored to welcome you all to the 2018 Colleyville Heritage High School commencement ceremony. I have the amazing opportunity to represent the best senior class in all of the DFW area, in all of Texas, and in fact, in all of the nation. A class comprised of athletes, musicians, performers, actors, and scholars. A class of unity, compassion, respect, and motivation. A class that is willing to power through anything May I use this as an opportunity to brag about how we beat Grapevine and Trinity in football this year. <laughs> 475 students sit here today. Well, that's the number my transcript told me, unless anyone took a sick day today diagnosed with senioritis. Each and every one of us has a different path on the road to success. I'm confident in the fact that the energy and drive of a Colleyville Heritage Panther will never subside, and that the life lessons learned in high school will stay near and dear in our hearts for eternity. In a room filled with future doctors, engineers, entertainers, lawyers, and beyond, the potential surrounding us is beyond our understanding. I would like to thank the wonderful administration and fantastic teachers of Colleyville Heritage High School for appropriately preparing us for our journeys ahead and never giving up to fulfill their duties as role models in our community. But most of all, I would like to thank my mom, dad, and brother Ilion. Here's a quick personal anecdote, because what would a graduation speech be without one? My mother and father both grew up in small cities in India. Despite coming to America with little money, and little knowledge of the English language, they made a living out of nothing. This is why I would like to share my high school diploma with them. Without their enduring and earnest support, I wouldn't be standing here today in front of you all with my current motivation to succeed in life. I would also like to give a huge shout out to all the students in this amazing class for making high school such a memorable experience. Each one of us made an impact on the school and on the community whether it be large or small, whether we know it or not. Congratulations to you all, and good luck in your future endeavors. And one last time, stay classy, Colleyville. At this time, I'm honored to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2018, Shreya Cabra. Shreya will be attending the University of Texas at Austin in the fall and plans to pursue a degree in business. She is a national merit finalist, a national AP scholar, and a first degree black belt. Shreya has been in PALS for the past two years. She was Chem Club president and a member of the National Honor Society, as well as the National Spanish Honor Society. Outside of school, she has organized and performed in an Indian musical charity program, and she enjoys Taekwondo and martial arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our salutatorian, Shreya.
guys and gals, thank you for joining me, and I hope you all are doing well this fine evening. Full disclosure, I tried to watch a good amount of graduation speeches on YouTube to prepare for this exact moment, but at some point I realized that Andy, all the way from an obscure Bay Area high school bragging about his perfect SAT score, could not possibly shape a speech about our class's experience here at Colleyville Heritage High School. First and foremost, I would like to recognize my family for being one of the best support systems I could ever have. Thank you to my mom and dad for always pushing me to be the best version of myself and for giving me advice. Even when it's unsolicited, it has always found a way to be helpful. <laughs> and a special thanks to my big brother, who crucially helped me navigate the ins and outs of my high school career. He gets credit for like 70% of my personality. So you may be wondering why I, of approximately 500 kids, get to give a speech that hopefully may reshape your outlook on life. Supposedly, it's because I have the second highest GPA in the class. It's all right. Numbers, places, ranks, they're like checkpoints. They help you see where you are, and from there, it's your choice. Are you happy with the numbers you have so far? What do they indicate of your growth? Do you want to improve? Do you want to work harder? Or do you think you're overworking yourself? Sometimes these checkpoints are conducive to our mental growth. Other times, they're not. I think it is safe to say almost all of us sitting in caps and gowns tonight have had our fair share of both sides of the experience. I too have let a number get the best of me at my low points. Society does seem to focus on points and digits rather than the holistic experience. Rank, GPA, salary, the conundrum seems to last our entire lifetime. I say we as a class fight against such rooted mechanisms. It's not about letting a single integer or real number control you or your work or your contribution. It's about your own mentality and how you deal with the numbers. Don't let a number dictate your life. First, second, third, we're all just as capable, but also have our unique strengths and weaknesses. Life is about how much your heart is in the work, not in the number. As for myself, I'm not up here because I had a dream or goal to be second in the class. I somehow found my way up here after constantly stretching my brain year after year, increasingly determined to find a way to enjoy each class and activity I'm in, especially if I was predisposed to not liking it. Despite the systematic nerd label I might tag on myself, there was plenty subject material I found drab or uninteresting, but eventually I was able to turn things around with the right mindset. The first step is to stop complaining. Oh, why are we even learning this? It's not like I'll ever use it in the future. Don't be that guy. It's a pain for your teachers who work hard to write up the curriculum and daily schedules for hundreds of students, and it prevents you from moving forward mentally. We don't fully know what we'll need and won't need for the future, and it's very unlikely that we can determine such things at the mere age of 18. But we can be prepared. Even if it's a pain to gain that preparation, I think you'll live. If you pretend to like something long enough, those forced feelings might eventually become true. Maybe don't use that advice for like relationships or other things in life. <laughs> but for me, I have found it to be accurate with subjects or things I was at first close-minded towards. Like, oh my gosh, before this year, I absolutely abhorred poetry, hated it. And it was because I was close-minded. I couldn't explore my horizons and try to appreciate the abstract universal conditions of life that poetry can teach us all. Before this year, I could not have imagined enjoying weird, convoluted pieces like Porphyria's Lover or obscure rhymes from Hamlet. But sometimes, with the right guidance and a persistent but caring teacher, you can overcome anything that initially seems boring. Speaking of guidance, not every school has the privilege that Colleyville Heritage has of such outstanding teachers and faculty who are invested in our futures and successes. From letting us make soap from organic compound, compounds in the chemistry lab to writing three essays a week. Although sometimes our teachers have dealt us difficult cards, they almost always turn out in our favor. I have had the luck to find teachers that inspire me to use my knowledge to better society and change the world rather than be driven by money or status. And I genuinely hope each and every one of you have felt the same about one of your teachers 
coaches, or counselors. And folks, that brings me to my stopping point. I hope my fellow classmates and others were able to take some inspiration or motivation from this bit. And if not, then I sincerely hope you got a wholesome five minute nap from it. Congratulations and good luck, Panthers. Thank you, Shreya. Our second speaker today is the class of 2018 valedictorian Rhea Upredi. Rhea will also be attending the University of Texas at Austin and majoring in mechanical engineering honors. She will be in the Jefferson Scholars Program at UT. Rhea qualified for the state science fair. She was a National Merit Commended Scholar as well as a National AP Scholar. Rhea is the Interact Club President, Chem Club President, National Honor Society Vice President, and National Spanish Honor Society Bilingual Buddies Officer. Outside of school, she volunteers at the Dallas Museum of Art as a team ambassador captain, and she has played piano for the past eight years. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce you to all to the 2018 valedictorian Rhea Upredi. Colleyville Heritage Class of 2018. I hope graduation is going well so far. The idea of giving a graduation speech is pretty daunting. I'm supposed to give a speech that reflects the experiences and thoughts of our class as a whole, but honestly, I don't know everyone in the class, and I'm sure all of you don't know me. So I wanted to take this opportunity to briefly introduce myself. Hi, my name is Ria Obrethi. I'm a senior at Colleyville Heritage, if only for a few more hours. And I hate these icebreaker things, but it's the most interesting way I could think of to start my speech. Actually, though, my go-to icebreaker is that I was born in India, and that isn't even all that interesting. I mean, India is the second most populous country in the world, so my interesting fact is that I'm part of a majority. <laughs> Something that is interesting, though, is that when I moved here, my parents and I only planned on living here for a year but my dad just kept getting more work from his company, and now it's been 12 years, so I guess you can see how good we are at planning. I'm the kind of person that likes planning things in concept, but I've learned that it doesn't always work out. So instead of trying to give advice about how to plan for your future, I thought I could use this time to reflect instead. Looking back on all my time at GCISD, I can think of a handful of accomplishments that I'm proud of, and that's the case for everyone in this room. Whether it's academic, athletic, extracurricular, or social, over the last 13 years, everyone has something that they have put in time and effort into that has culminated into something that they can feel proud of. Right now, we're in the middle of one of those events. 13 years of school comes to this point here of getting your diploma. And while the feeling of achieving something that you've set your mind to is super rewarding, no matter the scale of the accomplishment and worth being championed and celebrated, I think the moments in between that aren't recognized as achievements the moments that are just times having fun and doing things for no other purpose than entertainment are just as valuable and uniting. Elementary school was where we gained a base of knowledge. It's where you learn how to read, write, talk to others, and gain a general understanding of the world. Yet I consciously remember none of that. What I do remember is eating watermelon on the playground on watermelon day, engaging in shenanigans on field day, converting grapes into raisins, going on field trips to the zoo, and adventuring off to skate town in the, on Saturday mornings. After that, middle school is where you're supposed to be able to start to choose what you want to learn by being able to pick your electives and the difficulty level for your classes. But I think the best way to characterize this period of time where people are starting to gain a sense of self is by the mostly awkward phases. It's almost guaranteed that everyone went through some kind of phase where they were certain it was actually not a phase and something they would love for their whole life. Whether it was anime, One Direction, punk rock music, or something else, I'm pretty sure no one is exempt from them. Definitely not me. At the time, it was something that was integral and really important to yourself, even though it's super embarrassing to look back on now. High school is where you can finally choose for yourself most of the classes you take and learn things that might even relate to what you want to do in the future. It's also where teachers are no longer babysitters, for the most part, 
and we truly do apologize for when they have to act as one. We actually get to know our teachers as people rather than adults who exist only inside the school building, and the teachers we have had are our role models and inspirations as we have grown beside them, and I would like to thank them for always being so patient and caring with us. From being chaperones on trips and driving all the way across the state, to letting a whole class chant spaghetti while administrators wait outside the door, uh, the teachers of our, at our school have had, let us have some pretty memorable moments on campus. Next year is going to be a busy one for all of us, no matter what you have lined up for you. It's easy to get caught up in focusing on things to achieve and the goals we have, which are important, but I think it's just as vital to focus on having the little moments in the middle that don't really contribute to any goal, but just keep you happy as well. I am thankful to have been able to share all of my best moments so far with the best family and group of friends I could have asked for. So, this has been my ode to the little moments, and to the class of 2018, I hope the best for each one of you following graduation, both in your big achievements and in your little moments. Thank you. Thank you, Rhea and Shreya, and congratulations on your accomplishments. Our primary purpose today is to recognize the achievement of our students. We're going to take a moment to recognize a few students who have distinguished themselves at Colleyville Heritage. Please hold your applause until members of all groups announced are asked to stand. My name is Amanda Vargas, CHHS Lead Counselor, and I have the honor of announcing the National Merit Recognitions. The National Merit Corporation honors students based on their 11th grade PSAT score. We have students in three categories, National Merit Finalists, National Merit Semi-Finalists, and National Hispanic Scholars. I'd like to announce the following students who have been recognized in the National Merit Program. Please stand and stay standing as I call your name. National Merit Finalist, Jackson Anderson, Melanie De La Cruz, Megan Hoffman, Alicia Hurtado, Shreya Cabra, Megan Lakey, Ethan Matthews, Ava Moore, Evans Morales Quadrado, Alexander Nguyen, Nasir Panjwani, Hyung Jung Park, Zafar Patel, Shalini Ramachandran, Colby Smith, Raina Shaw, Justine Travis, Helen Yi, Zichin Wong, National Merit Semi-Finalist, Arsh Ladani. <laughs> and National Hispanic Scholars, Brenna Curry, Melanie De La Cruz, Noelle Dorgan, Alicia Hurtado, Isabella Hurtado, Daniel Lamb, Evans Morales Cuadrado, Jamil Okada, Alexandra Popke, Christoph Ruprich, Nicholas Saber, and Sydney Strength. Good evening. I am Colleen Casey, and I am number 21 in this graduating class. In the fall, I will be attending Texas A&M University. I am here to introduce the top 20 of the class of 2018. Each student will introduce himself or herself in descending order along with where they will be attending college in the fall. I would respectfully ask you to hold all applause until all 20 have been introduced. Will the top 20 please stand? Hi, I'm Melanie Dela Cruz. I'm number 20, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. I'm Brooke Wilson. I'm number 19, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm Miley Champ. I'm 18, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hi, I'm Bongoli or Nickley. I'm 17. I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Welcome. 
Hi, my name is Jimmy Locata. I'm number 16, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. I'm Evans Morales. I'm 15th, and I will be attending the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm Nafiz Choudhury. I am 14th, and I will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Welcome. Hi, I'm Zoff Patel. I'm number 13, and I will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Welcome. Hi, I'm Aisha Slothar. I'm number 12, and I will be attending the University of Texas at Dallas. Hello, my name is Reina Shaw, and I'm number 11, and I will be attending the University of Bristol. I'm Christopher Hotchis. I'm number 10. I will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hi, I'm Alexandra Popke. I'm number 9, and I'll be attending Stanford University. Hi, I'm Han Jung Park. I'm number 8, and I'll be attending University of Texas in Austin. Welcome. Hi, my name is Alicia Hurtado, and I'm going to be attending the University of Chicago, and I'm number 7. <laughs> Hi, I'm Helen Yi. I'm number six, and I will be attending the University of Texas at Dallas. Hi, I'm Isabella Hurtado. I'm number five, and I will be attending the University of Chicago. I'm Shalini Ramachandran. I'll be, I'm number four, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hook em. I'm Jack Wong. Uh, I'm number three, and I'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hook em. Hi, I'm Shreya Cabra. I'm number two, and I will also be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hook em. I'm Rio Prathy. I'm valedictorian, and I will also be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Hook em. Ladies and gentlemen, the top 20 of the 2018 graduating class of Colleyville Heritage High School. You may be seated. This evening, we are fortunate to have members of our school board, the school board trustees with us. These board members will be presenting the diplomas to the graduates this evening. Once again, as I'm going to introduce them, I would ask that you hold your applause until we have recognized all board members. Ms. Lisa Pardo, President. Ms. Becky St. John, Vice President. Ms. Mindy McClure, Secretary. And members, Mr. Jesse Rodriguez. Mr. Jorge Rodriguez, Mr. Louis Sullins, and Mr. Doug Noel. Please join me in recognizing our board members. At this time, I would like to recognize Superintendent Dr. Robin Ryan. Please join me in showing appreciation for his leadership and service and dedication to making GCISD the best district in the state. At this time, I would like to recognize two faculty members who arguably have the toughest and most important job this evening, as they will be assisting in the reading of the graduates' names. Mr. Dave Houston and Mr. Adam Morrison. As a principal, I am blessed with a, a fantastic administrative team. I'd like to recognize them at this time. Associate Principal, Ms. Jessica Ramos. Mr. Kevin Starnes. Assistant Principals, Dr. Gilbert Gonzalez. Ms. Whitney Konjevic, Dr. Shea Phillips, and Mr. Rob Sakura. Please join me in recognizing our administrative team. Tonight would not be possible without some of the assistance from our staff. Uh, I would like to recognize Ms. Robin Buxbaum, Ms. Glenda Cherry, and Ms. Beth Allen as well as our counseling staff for making tonight a possibility for all of our graduates. At this time, I would like to bring Dr. Robin Ryan, Superintendent of GCISD, and Board President Ms. Lisa Pardo for the presentation of the class. I'm Robin Ryan, and I will not be attending the University of Texas in the fall but I must be the only one that won't be. 
It is my pleasure to certify that the students who will be receiving their diplomas this evening have completed the course of studies as prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Board of Trustees of the Great Bond Colleyville Independent School District. It's therefore the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Colleyville Heritage High School that they be awarded their diplomas. On behalf of the Great Bond Colleyville Board of Trustees, I accept the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Colleyville Heritage High School and ask that the members of the class of 2018 present themselves for the presentation of diplomas. At this time, we will begin the presentation of diplomas, beginning with the top 20 and then the remainder of the class in alphabetical order. In order to achieve our goal that every graduate gets recognized to the fullest of their potential, we would still encourage you to refrain from distractions that might prevent a family from hearing their graduate's name being called. At this time, we will have the presentation of the diplomas. The valedictorian, Rhea Upretti. The salutatorian, Shreya Depika Cabra. Zishan Wang. Shalini Ramachandran. Isabella Olivia Hurtado. <laughs> Helen Yi. Alicia Sophia Hurtado. <laughs> Hee Young Jung Park. Alexandra Juliana Popke. Christopher Trent Hotchkiss. Reina Rashmi Shah. Aisha Muhammad Yaqub Saltar. Zafar Patel. Nafizer Rahman Chaudhary. Evans Gabriel Morales Corrado. Jamil Judith Barard Hokada. Bong Ho Lee. Miley K. Shump. Brooke Elizabeth Wilson. Melanie Elizabeth De La Cruz. Hala Elsadeg Abdallah. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Adams. Benjamin Paul Adams. Todd Allen A. House. Kayvon Isaiah Amud. Antonio Jose Alfaro. Zina Talal Al Haj. Asfar Ali. Rahina Hamid Ali. Shanze Tariq Ali. Jaden Earl Allen. Reagan Arden Allen. K. 
Catherine Elise Allagood. Michael John Allman. Eric Scott Alsup. Limber Alexandre Alvarado. Shondani Amit Amin. Julia Scout Ami. Braden Lee Amyat. Alexis Logan Anderson. Jackson Tyler Anderson. Abe Sharish Apte. Emily Lynn Atchison. Wyatt William Atchley. Victoria Riley Baker. Lucas Ryan Bollinger. Quinn Yishan Barber. Ivan Barron. Natalie Ann Bartam Torres. Emily Ann Boudreau. Ashley Marie Baxter. Katriana Irene Beard. Carly Lynn Bearden. Elizabeth Renee Begley. Kelsey Lauren Bernard. Alexander Joseph Perilla. Mega Bista. Madison Delaney Black. Margaret Ann Black. Reagan Elise Blaze. Avery Renee Blanchard. Jamal Devante Bolden. Aiden Michael Bolton. Catherine Michelle Bonavere. Bostic does not have his card. That one. Demonte Rashad Bostic. Ashlyn Faith Bothwell. Marissa Yvonne Boyd. Nicholas Ryan Brannon. Chase Allen Branham. William Glenn Brooks III. Cole Lee Brown. Taryn Zachary Brown. Tanya Cherie Bryan. Landon Roderick Byers. Joseph Wayne Campbell II. Caroline Canales. Griffin Wayne Cantu. Bianca Beatrice Caraballo. Connor William Carr. Brendan Isaiah Carter. Colleen 
Marie Casey. D. April Cervantes. Ryan Joseph Chambers. Michael Kai Shamnes. Aaron Anthony Chan. Thomas James Chapman. Savannah Lee Chess. Aisha Chaudhry. Brianna Lynn Clark. Nicholas Blaine Clark. Robert Foster Clark. Trey Thomas Clower. Andrew Gill Coltman. Jake Daniel Cooper. Cade Coleman Corley. Benjamin Aiden Cornelli. Dylan Christian Cornelli. Michael Anthony Cornish. Milo Shaban Cortese. Clark Sumner Costello. Juliana S. Course. Nicole Denise Cowan. John Austin Cox. Hannah Marie Critchfield. Kirk Dylan Cross. Emily Ann Crossman. Brenna Caroline Curry. Emma McLenna Curry. Anna Beatriz Fernandez de Silva. Rua Walid Dagoshin. Paige Michael Dowry. Nikita Dotla. Damon A. Davenlu. Benjamin Walter Davis. Sonia S. Dawu. Sarah Ann DeBarro. Cade McCowan Debra. Abigail Lily DeHart. Clayton L. DeLoach. Thomas Alexi Demirs. Grant Michael Dennis. Sarah Elizabeth Denny. Gabriel Diaz, Jr. Roy Chester Donald. Noel Gabriela Dorgan. Skyler John DeBose. Tatum Savannah Eccles. 
Benjamin Edward Eklar IV. David Blake Elliott. Callista Rowan Ellis. Corwin Ryan William Ellis. Taryn Cole Ellis. Rosan Adele Elsedig. Christian Blake Englert. Aisha Vergaibe. Emily Nicole Eubank. Lauren Allen Evans. Noran Fatma Fadehill. Javier Jose Falcon Gaucher. Margaret Suzanne Fanning. Antonio Flores. Austin Philip Folkertsma. Kaylin Nicole Fontanet. Joseph Patrick Foray. Robert James Foray. Dylan Cole Francis. Rain Allen Franco. Ruby Bliss Frazier. Landry Dale French. <clears throat> Andrew James Friend. Luke Joseph Frizzell. Madeline Nicole Ganshaw. Daniel Arturo Garcia. Yvonne Guadalupe Garcia. Jacob Arthur Garcia. Maria Magdalena Garcia. Keontae Juvan Thomas Garner. Bryn Janae Gerlich. Ariana Faye Gibbs. Eric J. Giles. Elizabeth Jane Gillen. Madeline Jean Gillen. Riley Ann Gobin. Mason Fox Goddard. Allison Marty Gonzalez. Gabrielle Marie Gonzalez. Crystal Gonzalez. Manning Ray Gooden. Dawson Hunter Gore. William Manning Gould. Grayson Matthew Gradke. Jarvis Omar Grant. 
Samantha McGarry Gray. Livian Pearl Green. Kieran Sean Grogan. Nicholas Ray Guerra. Soha Ali Habib. Adam Bassam Haddad. Grace Rebecca Hall. Braden Ethan Ray Hancock. Preston Alexander Haynes. Ethan John Regalado Hansen. Lauren Kaylee Marie Harris. Alexandria Grace Harrison. Michael Evan Heimlich. Abdul Ali Amir Hamani. Riggan Craig Heller. Alexis Nicole Henry. Natasha Ann Hicks. Colin Richard Hill. Cameron Thomas Hinckley. Colton Blake Hinkle. Cameron Elizabeth Hogue. Lauren Catherine Hodge. Tyler Douglas Hornig. Ashlyn Susan Hoffman. Megan Elizabeth Hoffman. Kalia Sabria Azra Hogue. Sophie Eileen Hynoski. Dylan Charles Holiday. Baker Alexander Holland. Elizabeth Marie Holloman. Okay. Oh. Joshua Lance Holmes Xavier. Jason Frederick Howell. Caden Joseph Howard. Edward Monroe Hudgens. Natalie Paige Hutchins. Hayden Lee Hutto. Cassie Ann Hutto. Ennis Ida. Michael Isham. Esmeralda Natalie Iteralde. Julia May Jackson. Jabin Jeffrey. Sydney Rose Jowitz. Abigail Carlin Jeffries. Michael Luis Jimenez. Arlena John. Alex Willis Johnson. Libby Blair Johnson. Tia Shalin Jones. Janine Elizabeth Justison. Sydney Nohelane Ki. 
Philip Sam King. Lindsay Cheyenne Keith. Carla Zacnite Kin. Christopher Brian Kennedy. Ishmam Khan. Sophia Adrisa Kubshandani. Amy Naomi Kim. Cole Allen Kimberlin. Joshua Robert King. Jemima Kanyike Chishashe. Evan Michael Kaiser. Madison Paige Klein. Alexandra Grace Kupchunas. Sarah Elizabeth Kwidzinski. Arsh Fureed Lodhokni. Ellen Elizabeth Lagrange. Megan Lynn Lecky. Danielle Raphael Lam. Ashley Taylor Lang. Carrie Michelle Landman. Dean Anthony Lawler. Sophie Claire Leathers. Shelby Nicole Leffler. Robert Daniel Luce. Alec James Lepton. Paola Milagros Morero Arroyo. Amber Nicole Martin. Robert Wade Martin. Arman Kareem Musalalwa. William Anthony Matheson. Ethan Lane Matthews. Jeremy Sellers Matthews. Addison Kate Moppin. Ashish Anwarale Movane. Sydney Ann McCallum. Giovanna Brian McCormick. Sarah Elizabeth McCoy. Charlotte Thomas McGoy. Andrew Scott McGinn. Brandon Robert Sylvester McLorn. Ethan Rain McGowan. Ryan Charles McMillan. Jordan Sanchez Meadows. Trinity Faith Medford. Juan Jose Mejia. Isabel Rose Mendoza. Anjali Mark Merchant. Cullen Merchant. Zachary James Mills. Brett Douglas Minnick. Michael Philippe Miocic. Jason Tyler Mitchell. Jessica Rue Mitchell. Wambora Nomoita Moenga. Kate Kealoha Momsen. 
Brian Alejandro Montes. Amanda Lynn Moore. Ava Renee Moore. Gabriella Lucille Moore. Brandon Luke Morgan. Noah Chase Morton. Marcus Adrian Mosley. Jacob Boone Mucky. Christopher Landry Mudd. Murphy doesn't have his card. Who? Caleb. Caleb Paul Murphy. <laughs> Kenneth Noel Mateo. Nora Eileen Napper. Bryson Drew Neal. Carissa May Nelson. Maven New. Trevor May Netzer. Bryn Reed Newell. Jaden V. No. Alexander B. Wynn. Ryan Hantong Wynn. Christopher Mark Nilokolode. J. Michael Nesbitt. Justin Riley Nottingham. Jace Robinson Nyland. Melvin Manura Ogega. Elizabeth Stella Olson. Charlotte Brianne Elizabeth Osborne. Maria Renata Palomo Melendez. Nasser Ali Panjwani. Allison Claire Pappas. Jennifer Una Park. Matthew Allen Parker. Blake Porter Paxton. Andrew McCraw Payne. James Matthew Pelfrey. Colette Annalise Pellitrino. Mackenzie Louise Purdock. Anna Paige Perez. Hayden Alexander Perry. <clears throat> William Benjamin Phipps. Olivia Alexandra Pittman. Joseph Reed Post. Preston Hayden Post. Charlotte Abigail Pounds. Tyler Pointer. Sarah Katie Poitras. Mary Jo Krawchuk. Brandon Lee Price. Kendall Jordan Pugh. Jackson Dwayne Redant. Ashna Kaur. I'm sorry, ahead Ahmed Rajwani. Jonathan Hal Ramsbottom. Oh, I got it. 
Ashna Kaur Rosinghani. Logan Michael Redfern. Joshua Matthew Reef. Natalie Breck Renhack. Austin Matthew Riccio. Amanda Renee Reyes. Ryan N. Rice. Madison Ray Richards. Aaliyah Delise Taylor Richardson. Jessica Jade Richmond. Timothy Michael Richmond. Hunter Cole Ridley. Amanda Catherine Ringo. Amira Brianna Robinson. Taylor Annette Rogers. Kimberly Rodriguez. Elise Marie Romero. Devin Naboru Rose. Chandler Faith Rothgeb. Annette, my love, Roussel. Christoph Alexander Ruprich. Joseph Ryan Russell. Jacob Michael Ryan. Nicholas Scott Guevara Saber. Sonia Saeed. Ariana Sorahi Sanchez. Jenna Sanchez. Dion De Quincey Saxby. Gavin Elijah Schaefer. Theodore Andreas Rodriguez Schutz. Colby Schmidt does not have her card. Colby Nicole Schmidt. <laughs> Jamie Jenga Schmidt. Alexander John Scotch. Brian Allen Scott. George Clint Scott the third. Daisy Jasmine Serna. Addison Deloy Servanac. Savannah Michelle Shopley. David Lyle Sharp. Zachary Allen Shelley. Isla Shin. Jonathan Edward Shirley. Jonathan Adam Shirley. 
Kristen B. Shortridge. Annalee Patrice Siegert. Noah William Sigrist. Sabrina Silva. Michael Austin Singer. Grant Jackson Sisk. Bailey Danielle Smith. Michael Bennett Smith. Bianca Yvonne Solano. Joy Talia Sollers. Anna D. Suhu. Summer Elise Todd Spade. Shelby Caroline Sparks. Braden Tyler Stackhouse. Malia Ann Stamps. Laura Ann Stevenson. Trevor Allen Stowall. Sydney Elizabeth Strength. Samantha Lee Strickland. Tyler David Stringer. Anthony James Such. Sharik Anawaz Suhani. Kylie Nicole Summers. Jasmine Sun. Joseph Robert Swain. Logan Matthew Tam Swindell. Joseph William Kinzo Tanaka. Kaysen Allen Tatum. Kennedy Elise Taylor. And Tatum does not have this. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah, Kenneth. Okay. Kenneth Howard Taylor. Simran Shamsadan Thanawala. Anara Ramzan Tharani. Olivia Ruel Thorne. Stephen Ragnar Thorsell. Breck. Robert Thurston. Misael Tovalin. Brenna Nicole Tracy. Justine Danielle Travis. Kyle James Troop. 
Aiden Orion Turley. Paul Anthony Yurembevich. Adriana Uribe. Aman Noshad Badwania. Alejandro Balarama. Miranda Eve Valenzuela. Christelle Valeria Valero. Jordan Riley Ventura. Grant Michael Vess. Fong Nodong Vu. Lara Jordan Wadel. Madison Elizabeth Walden. Jacob Wallace. Lauren Taylor Walls. Sean Michael Walsh. Megan Rose Walters. Isabella Maria Wharton. Tyla Gabrielle Washington. William Brooks Watson. No. Whitley Christina Wesovich. Kinsey Anise West. Amanda Faye Wheeler. Lewis James Whitetail. Keith David Widener. Nolan McHenry Wilkins. Braden Matthew Williams. Tristan Guy Williams. Kate Marion Wilson. Madeline Margaret Wimmer. Alexander James Winger. Kiara Faith Wingo. Cameron Christian Wooten. West Weston Matthew Wright. Haley Grace Wiestenberg. Jordan Christopher Wyatt. Ria Bavani Yalamanchili. Truman Joseph Yates. Alejandra Yapez. Grace Michelle Young. Madison Eris Young. Gerardo Adrian Zapata. Gwendolyn Marie Zimmerer. Aaron Grace Zimmerman. Parker Christian Zimmerman. 
Aman Aziz Zendani. Riley Carson Zuckert. Edrina Zulali. Tasneen Noor. Kel Andrew Austin. Andrea Ellen Quill. Hello. My name is Will Matheson, Student Body Committee Chair for the 2017-2018 school year. It's seriously an honor to get to address everyone on this special day. And on this special day, what more needs to be said than good job? Thank you. No. Ah, kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, seriously, I want to thank all of you for celebrating with us today, and I would like to congratulate my fellow classmates for looking so good in red. Oh, and graduating high school, no big deal. In all seriousness, thinking about these relationships we have built in these four years is truly incredible. It has been a blessing to have gone to Colleyville Heritage High School with all of you. As we transition into the next chapter of our lives, I believe we have been prepared thanks to the many role models we have had throughout this journey. Whether it was a fellow student a specific teacher, Colleyville Heritage is a place any student could grow and flourish. Graduates, although it may seem like we're about to be on our own, know that you have support in faith, family, and friends. High school is hard work, especially when you procrastinate studying or neglect to do it at all. With the many extracurriculars we have to balance with our schoolwork, things can get ugly very quickly. Everyone, Thank you, parents, teachers, and staff for helping you grow and preparing you for what comes next. We have all been thinking about this day for some time. It, it feels like at least 13 years at this point. Now that, it's, now that the moment is here, it's hard to believe it's actually happening, as bittersweet as it is. Part of me wants to relive these past four years, a very, very, very small part. Today marks the start of another chapter in all of our lives. I will forever be proud to have gone to Colleyville Heritage, and more importantly, I'm honored to call you my classmates and friends. I can say, without a doubt, Colleyville, Colleyville Heritage High School is a campus that truly cares about their students' success and future achievements. I want to give a shout out to my family, uh, mom, dad, Mallory, Alex, my dogs, they're not here. Uh, most importantly, my hedgehog, Bonnie, and Dita, can't forget him. I'll leave you all with this quote from Minor Myers Jr. Go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Dilly dilly. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I want to leave you with one last thing. Remember this, you are a panther today and you will always be a panther. Congratulations on today's achievement, but this is not the end, only the beginning of the next chapter of your life. I challenge you, go write your own story, be your own individual, and understand that every person in this room today will be there to support you along your journey. I wish you the best of luck and I want you to know this, it is because of you that I'm proud to call myself principal at Colleyville Heritage.
It is my privilege to hereby declare you graduates of Colleyville Heritage High School. Tradition says that you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboards. At the end of the alma mater, we ask that guests of graduates please honor them by remaining in your seats until all get graduates have completed the recession. At this time, the Colleyville Heritage Panther Band will lead us in the playing of our alma mater. The words are printed on the back of your program. At this time, if everyone will please stand for the playing of our alma mater. Audience, audience, if you'll please be seated. Audience, if you'll please be seated. Graduates, if you will face out, we will begin the procession. <laughs> 